Aloha everyone, this is Dr. Beth Ann. I'm an author, intuitive psychologist, and empath, and I craft content for highly sensitive spiritual souls. It is the Libra new moon today, so I thought it would be really fun to do a mini energy update. This is just a super quick one. I asked the angels for an image to represent the energy of the new moon, and um, I immediately saw scales, and I was like, come on, you guys. Like, I already know it's about balance. Most of us know astrologically Leo has the sign of scales. You know, is there some sort of big new insight? But then when I took the tarot cards and I did like the shuffle to see what cards flew out, I got two and one of them was contract but the image of the scales really um, like really leapt out at me and anytime we get a double message when we're asking a question that is spirit saying pay attention to this so when I really set with the energy of balance and what that means the bigger piece that came in for me was that this has been a year of finding balance for all of us finding balance in the sense of coming into greater balance in our own relationship with self coming into greater unity in our own relationship of self, coming into greater knowledge in our own relationship of self. You know, if we're really good at this particular energy, a lot of us have been challenged to get better at this one, to bring our own, our own scales into balance. And 2019 has truly been a year of it's like the tarot judgment card reckoning, you know, really looking at things as they are and doing deep review and really being challenged to see our life as it is and not necessarily how we thought it was. And that's been really hard on a lot of us. And then we've been called to grow, to, to step into greater alignment and to bring greater balance into our lives by being in alignment with the voice of our soul. There's balance in that too. Balanced a balanced life on a soul level looks like finding ways to live the truth of the voice of our soul. And the second card that I pulled that fell out of the deck was the temple path, which is about being on our spiritual path and our spiritual journey. And I feel like for many of us this year, it's been a year of really being called into greater alignment, being called to truly embody who we are as spiritual beings and to make some of us major course corrections in our life in order to step into that um, and some of us the course corrections might have been smaller but either way I see that as a theme of um, <laughs> rooster so loud I see that as a theme of balance too because being aligned is being in balance it is being in tune with all parts of ourself it's seeing things clearly so this moon is a really beautiful time to just reflect on how have you been called into greater balance this year and I want to challenge you on this new moon to instead of looking at like how far do I need to go, what am I working on, what do I need to do, I actually just want to challenge you to appreciate how far you've come. What have you done to bring your life into greater balance? We're all doing the work. So how far have you come? You know, what have you done? Appreciate the hard work you're putting in. Appreciate the courage that you're showing. Appreciate how you are a participant in this beautiful universe and the universe itself <laughs> is being called into balance astrological right now astrologically right now we're in the sign of balance and harmony and we are umbrellaed underneath that energy and then in our own cycle of self we're all being called into greater alignment and balance within ourselves so appreciate what you're contributing to the universe what you're contributing to the balance every time you bring something into greater alignment in your life the universe comes into greater alignment. Every time you heal something within you, the universe heals a little bit more. We are part of the bigger picture. We're energetically connected to all of it. So appreciate your hard work. Take time on this new moon to do something really beautiful and self-loving for you and just honor that. And if you feel called to do a ritual, do a ritual. If you feel called to write intentions, write intentions, you know, do whatever calls to you. But I just encourage encourage you to think about all the ways you have brought more unification, harmony into your life. And sometimes we have to go through disharmony in order to bring new harmony in. And so much beauty can come from that. And Libra's about beauty too and finding the beauty. So find the beauty in your journey this year. Make notes on it. Do something beautiful for yourself and have a wonderful, wonderful new moon.
If you enjoy my content and want more, please feel free to subscribe and you can find out more about me on my website, bethannkw.com if you're interested in more intuitive guidance for your life. Aloha and light. Thank you so much for joining me.